Two IPS employees now face criminal charges in connection with a case of a guidance counselor who is charged with having a sexual relationship with teen students. The prosecutor charged two school employees with failing to immediately report that information to the Department of Child Services. Rich Van Wyk just spoke with the prosecutor. Rich, what'd he tell you? Scott, the two IPS employees, one of them a top administrator of the school district, have not yet been arrested because these are misdemeanor charges. They are being to summoned, they're being summoned into criminal court here at the city county building. We expect that to take place on May 10. The probable cause affidavit alleges that Tina Hester, the director of IPS Human Resources, earning $145,000 a year, as well as one of her workers, a caseworker, Shalom. Dabney had ample information to suspect that a guidance counselor, Shana Taylor, was having an inappropriate relationship with at least one student, having sex with that teenager in the, her office at the Longfellow School as well as other locations. Instead of immediately notifying police or Child Protective Services as Indiana law requires, they waited six days. Not only were they aware of this legal requirement, detectives found emails and other evidence that Hester, again the Director of Human Resources, a attempted to cover it up. Uh, the probable cause speaks for itself and, and there is a one particular email from um, Dr. Hester uh, to a communications person uh, to the effect and, and again the actual language is in the probable cause that uh, uh, they we're not going to involve the IPS police uh, so that this uh, individual would not be charged. Taylor, a now former guidance counselor for IPS, faces nine counts of child seduction. Dabney and Hester are charged with failure to report. That is a B misdemeanor, Scott. If found guilty, though, they could do jail time and they could be fined as much as $1,000 each. Uh, this is a story we continue to follow.